Welcome back to the Canes Cave. It is Perk with Just Win Canes. Thanks for joining me for another post game show. Um, tough loss today against NC State. And I mean, the post game analysis is really simple. And in my book, it's really simple. Listen, if you want to you know, weigh the good and the not so good. You can go to Coach Hayes. He's got a great YouTube channel. I love his show. And he'll he'll show you the good and the bad and the ugly and break it down. And I'm sure there was uh there was some good uh and, but if, all I can think about right now is the ugly. Right? And it was the play of the quarterback today. That in my eyes the quarterback lost the game for us. Uh, lost the game. I, I feel like those guys are ready to play. They're pumped up. They're psyched. They're ready to go. They want to get uh, get this dub and push on to uh, to FSU Hate Week next week with uh, some spirit. Um, and TVD Tyler Van Dyke lost the game for us. He looked terrible. He looked flat. He looked uninspired. He was not. He did not look like he had command of the offense. He did. He wasn't on the sidelines pumping up the guys and, and rallying the troops or anything. He's uh, just a, a expressionless statue, and and he stood in the pocket, didn't feel the pressure, doesn't step up, just stands there staring his receiver down like a freaking zombie. Absolutely terrible. And when I listen, I know that coaches have their philosophies, right? Um, Coach Cristobal had a philosophy of not wanting to take a knee. You know, I think he did it at Oregon. He didn't take a knee a lot, and it bit us in the ass a few weeks ago, right? Um, but I feel like he's moved on from that and learned from that. Um, and our offensive coordinator stated in a press conference that he does not like to bench a quarterback in the game. He likes to see them fight through it and try to finish the game and come back. And I get it. I do get it. Um, but it did not work out for us today. He just played like crap the entire freaking game. Like, at what point do you sit the quarterback down? Even if it's just for a few plays. And, and put Emory Williams in and see if he can create a spark let TVD sit there on the sidelines for a few minutes and play assistant quarterback coach, get his head out of his ass, and then let him come back in and try to and try to make something. And if he if he can't do it, then pull him. It's time to sit him down, man. Like he lost the game for us. He stands in the pocket like the Statue of Liberty, staring his receivers down. Everybody knows it. You saw in the game last week, they're batting his balls down left and right. Same thing today, batting balls down, stepping just stepping in front of his passes like they know what they, they know where the ball's going. He's he's just staring at him, right? And who I mean, it's easy. They they double on Restrepo, right? They're not they're not worried about the, the tight ends. So we don't really throw to our tight ends that often. I think we threw like two or three times. One was dropped, and they made like he did a couple throws under underneath for just a couple yards. We we know we don't use our our, our tight ends like we used to. This used to be tight end you, not that anymore. Our tight ends are freaking there for blocking and blocking only. It makes no sense to me why we don't utilize our tight ends, especially since we rec the ones that we have are pretty big. Please, Arroyo, Arroyo, come back, Jesus Christ. Uh. So Restrepo has gone. We don't throw to our tight end. So who's left? I mean, it's like Kobe Young, Jacoby George. We, like they know where the ball is going, and he stares them down and just throws it right at them. Um, and they just step in front of the step in front of the ball for an interception. He stands in the pocket, doesn't move, doesn't feel the pressure, doesn't step up in the first quarter. They smack the ball out and uh, recover. I mean. It's like TVD doesn't even start playing until mid fourth quarter. That worked last week. We rallied and won. It didn't work this week. Pull him. Matter of fact, <coughs> don't even come close 
staple his pants to the bench, let him slide his freaking feet in there at the beginning of the game, sit his ass on the bench, and then he can you can unstaple his ass from the bench at the end of the game because that's where he belongs. He belongs on the freaking bench right now. And we're, we're, we keep talking about giving guys playing time based on merit. Tyler Van Dyke does not deserve playing time right now. And we're, we're not, we have no chance to go into the playoffs or the ACC championship. So what's the point? We're bowl eligible anyway. So at this point, who cares? Like, play Emery. Uh, right now, he looks like he's the best chance for the future unless we recruit some phenom, which doesn't look like we're going to happen. It's going to happen. Might as well start getting him some real game time experience. I like the kid. Uh, I know he doesn't have full command of the, of the, uh, of the playbook and, uh, that TVD has, but guess what? TVD ain't doing nothing with it. He, he knows the whole playbook and, and can't freaking throw a ball. I don't know what's wrong with him. I, I, think he's, I think he's injured and is saying he's okay and he's not. I mean, those balls, or he needs glasses or something. Like his depth of field is screwed up. Underthrow, overthrow. Like, I don't know what's going on with him, but he doesn't deserve to be on the field right now. I don't care what he's showing in practice. His game time presence is awful. So let's move on. We get FSU next week. I, I mean, you might say, well, we don't want to put Emory in uh, against FSU. That's like, I mean, you know, they're undefeated right now. They're top of the ACC. They're, they're you know, on paper, they're our toughest opponent. But. Looking at this game here, could he do, could he really have done any worse than TBD did today? Like, really? I don't think so. I don't think that he could have played any worse than TBD did today. Today was an abomination, especially when the when the you look back at the the great quarterbacks that have come out of the University of Miami, of the the lackluster quarterbacks that we've seen over the a few years. His last few games, uh, he's he's Top of the charts. Terrible. Okay. So, um, like, we really need to recruit quarterbacks. I don't, I don't know why we have not been able to, to do that, to, to, to pick up a, a really good quarterback. Maybe Emory Williams is the guy. I don't know. That's yet to be seen, but I'll be honest with you, in the one game he's played, I liked what I saw. I mean, he's got good pocket presence. He's actually pretty mobile. Uh, he's got a good arm, nice, crisp, zippy ball. Um, and I like his chemistry with the offense. He gets him pumped up. He's on the sideline, pumping guys up. He's going to the defensive guys. He's pumping them up, like, get us the ball back. Let's go. We're going to do something. Like, I think it's time to move on from TBD. TBD is not going to NFL. It, uh, He's not even a good backup in the NFL. Uh, it's a wrap. So thank you for your service, Tyler Van Dyke. But I think the sun is setting on your, if I had my way, the sun would be setting on your college career at this point. Um, and you can give back some of that uh, NIL money. Um, or at least from here on out, we need to take some of that from him and go ahead and give it to Emory and let him play. Actually, I think they played better when they – he played better before he got, uh, got, a, got a raise. He fought for that raise, put some bullshit out there about him getting recruited by Alabama, which seemed like absolute hogwash to me, and got more money, and then he just got worse. So time to move on. Anyway, uh, FSU week next week. Let's let's uh, prepare for the worst, but hope for the best. I'm still going to talk smack, although it doesn't have the same power behind it when you're uh, winning. Uh, but um, yeah, let's go in there. Hopefully, uh, this next week we can put something together that give uh, FSU some trouble. 
Otherwise, my uh, watch party is going to be pretty sad again. So, Perk, Justin Keynes, see you uh, this week previewing our game with FSU. Go Keynes.